Air signs, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. For those of you having issues with your person right now, we are going to find out from spirits and angels if you should stay or leave this connection. Please take this advice lightly as it is a general reading and use your best uh, judgment. All right, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Let's get our reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me. Should Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius stay or leave this connection The devil in reverse at the bottom of the deck and again gemini libra and aquarius uh use your best judgment okay take this this advice very very loosely okay we've got the not a once in reverse the the chariot and the queen of swords in reverse and we've got the five swords here okay Gemini, Libra, and Chris, you're dealing with somebody who likes to play mind games, okay? Somebody who could be also a narcissistic. So with the seven of wands here, Spirit says, you know, don't let this person uh, walk all over you. Make sure that you set your boundaries. And the fool here, Emma, first. I would say to leave, to be honest, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Right now, at this moment, uh, it says to leave this connection because three of swords is right here they are going to break your heart or break your heart again and eight of wands here is in reverse but it says this person hasn't been telling the truth has been playing mind games has been really manipulative this person knight of wands here in reverse could be a fire sign aries sagittarius leo can also be a libra gemini aquarius can be any sign okay but I feel like also a Cancer, could be a Capricorn as well. So what I'm seeing here is that uh, Spirit is saying that this Knight of Wands here in reverse, your person, I believe this is your person, and unless roles are being reversed here. But I feel like um, this person may have lied or cheated, could also have this very immature behavior um, at the same time. <laughs> I just don't feel like this person has truly grown up yet, okay? And there's something innate about them that is a bit troubling, uh, to be honest. A little bit troubling. And this person might affect you, okay? Might affect you from moving forward in your life to becoming a successful person. Or, you know, it could be anything that you want in your life. Your goals, your ambitions. This person may may prevent you from reaching them that's what i'm getting and nine of pentacles here is in love first could also indicate some sort of codependency you could also be dealing with someone who's constantly sucking the energy out of you okay um or it could be money it could be energy so this is the charity if you like to move forward successfully in your life you should leave this person because it feels like you are you know, you're on your way to reaching something in your life right now. It's like you have ambitions, right? The chariot here. But all of these cards here indicates this blockage. They are blocking you from reaching your goals in your life or, you know, whatever that you want to achieve in your life. I feel like they are, they could be a blockage. Either it's because they give you too much stress so that they are sucking the energy out of you or that they could be taking money from you or creating a lot of problems, a lot of drama that makes you waste a lot of time and energy um, by dealing with them. That's definitely what I'm getting here. Let's see more air signs, Gemini, Libra. Chris. So look, look at the death card here. Yep. Leave. That's what I'm getting here. But again, I have to remind you, use your best judgment. Okay. Use your best judgment. If this reading kind of resonate with you, whoever I'm describing your person here, then yeah, then maybe I think then maybe it could be accurate for you 
but uh, again use your best judgment okay the lovers here some of first pieces make a choice to end this connection with the death card here release this person i knew that uh with the devil and reverse you know it indicates toxicities negativities this person is just gonna drag you down okay and you may find it really hard for yourself to again you know achieve something that you really want to achieve in your life this person is going to hinder you from becoming somebody successful and i always talk about this right if you choose the wrong partner for yourself they are they are going to drag you down not in just you know breaking up and crying uh or ending the relationship every other aspects in your life will be influenced by that as well um i recently watched this video uh this netflix documentary it's called bad vegan you guys can check it out if you haven't seen it yet it's called bad vegan so this lady her name is Sarma, I believe. Yeah, her name is Sarma. So she married this guy and uh, oh my gosh. And her, her restaurant, she owns a restaurant, right? It's like a vegan restaurant. It was a very popular restaurant with all of the celebrities coming to, you know, try out their, their new, I don't know. I, I believe it's really good. <laughs> I, you know, I tried being a vegetarian too. Well, more so like pescatarian before. I would, you know, I would be really intrigued by the way mm, they prepare the food so that it's it looks less like a vegetarian food. But anyway, their restaurant is a really her restaurant was a really popular popular restaurant and I don't know what happened but she just married this guy, the wrong guy, and this guy just ended up scamming her, getting her to scam everybody else as well and eventually she 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 went uh, she went to jail because of that. They didn't they didn't pay the employee and stuff this is just an, an example of a story that recently i saw on netflix but you know what jemai libra and chris i feel like this could be that scenario i'm not saying exactly that's what's gonna happen but i feel like it's definitely encouraging you to uh leave this person yeah Mm, because uh, they could be depend they they could be sucking the energy out of you, or taking money from you, or just being a very bad influence for you. Because the devil here is in one first, and the death card here, you know, this is a major kana. So spirits definitely saying yes to leave this person and the chariot to move on forward. You you ca you will become a more successful person, or you know again whatever that you want to achieve in your life, you you will achieve it without this person. If with, with this person around you in your life, you find it really really hard to move forward or achieve whatever that you want to achieve in your life because they could be riding on your coattail, right? And also we've got these seven of cups here, seven of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. So you are dealing with like a child. That's what I'm getting here like no matter how old they are they're still a child so it may be a lot of burden for you as well Gemini Libra and Chris it may be a lot of burden for you I feel like for a lot of you you are resenting them already Queen of Swords and Reverse resenting this person for either being childish or being um or being unreliable non-consistent or non-committal or somebody whom could be a narcissistic playing mind games could be any of these things it may not meet may not may not be all of it but it could be some of some of those things okay so seven of pentacles and seven of cups your spirit is definitely saying you need to think long and hard okay um because it feels like also for some of you you have already invested on this person and you really don't see the outcome as in um the outcome that you want from this connection from this person maybe there's something also that you've been wanting to see from this person to see this person grow or you know because i feel like you've already been with this person for a while and you still are not seeing it i feel like a lot of you do not see a potential being with this person long term right huh. like you are kind of doubting with the seven of cups here doubting whether this person is the right one for you if you keep having these doubts and also what i'm seeing right here and you resent this person so much like on a down low you you actually have a lot of grudges towards 
uh, your person here and the fool here in reverse, they can do very foolish things as at times. They can be very risk take risks, very foolish, and then they hurt you through your swords here, or they, they break your heart, make you feel really sad. Eight of Wands in reverse also indicates bad news. So spirits uh, uh, spirits are trying to tell you, I feel like this person is definitely bad news and that you should leave. Okay, but then again, use your best judgment. This is just a general reading. Um so only apply if you think this is the right thing for you okay let's see more so we got the two swords in love first and the moon and the strength in love first so uh your future with this person is going to be very very you know with the moon here uncertain you know uh, i feel like for a lot of you maybe you could you could already sense that your connection with this person you know i'm not sure if there's future it's there are a lot of uncertainties you may be fearing um, that it may not work out you may be feeling a little bit insecure in regards to this connection um, basically just unsure how things are going to pan out between two of you and the moon also can indicate some sort of pessimism for some of you it's you feeling pessimistic and for some of you maybe you have a change of heart in regards to this person in the beginning maybe it looked good it felt good but then now now i feel i'm sensing you have a lot of doubts in regards to this person and two of swords here is in love first spirit says you already know you already know and then the strength here is in love first Mm, it's just not worth your time your energy because it's like trying to tame the beast and with it being in reverse i don't think if there's something that you've been thinking that this person needs to change there's some changes that i feel you've been waiting to see if this person has changed and they haven't quite changed yet spirit says you can't change them with the strength here in reverse you can't change them because you're taming it's it's almost like that saying like the stripes on you know the spots on the leopard it, they don't change the stripes on the tiger it doesn't change i don't know that saying so something like that that i'm getting here um in this uh in this message here today gemini libra and uh Aquarius, this is your reading again please use your best judgment okay this is just a general reading and um i'm gonna leave you with two two videos on the screen right now these videos are from my second channel it's a travel vlog channel if you're interested check it out and also i will leave you with a playlist on the screen this playlist has all of the readings that i've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions check it out if you want to um because they're still fresh and new as you guys have post your videos almost every single day so uh click on it don't let it go to waste scroll all the way down look for your sign there could be some other important messages for you over there and don't forget to hit like share and subscribe if you resonated with that reading just now <laughs> and uh, i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below and for those of you who like to be notified every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care bye